Why are more people not looking to the anthologies of their favorite anime? It's spicier, it's funnier, it's gayer, it's officially licensed, it's literally what all you people want. Look, Kakira is barking for Chisato! I know many of you have never even heard of these, so today let's dive into a whole different media. Anthologies. But for those of you that are bad at English, like me, you may ask, what is an anthology? Well, uh, a published collection of poems or other pieces of writing. And from this, we can deduce that manga is poetry. But in the weeb world web, it's basically, uh, official doujin. No, not that kind, dumbass. A bunch of fan-made manga is compiled into a book and officially licensed and published by the original publishers of the anime. So like, imagine if Sega went on Wattpad, took some Sonic fanfiction and officially published it. Like that. Wait, since it is, well, a compilation, these anthologies generally consist of a bunch of short stories, about 12 to 20 pages each. Some in manga form, others in yonkoma form. Short, but either spicy, cute, or absolutely batshit what insane. Dog, what can I say? Bunchy fans know themselves the most. So does the Navy. It'd be a bit disingenuous to generalize everything and say, haha, anthology good. So today, I'd like to go over some of my favorites and show you the charm that lies in anthologies. Liquor is recoil. Look, you know I had to start with this. It is everything I wanted in this anime. Remember way long time ago when I said I would love a series of slice of life stories with Chisataki just because of how good their interactions are? My wish was granted, bro. This is everything I want. The classic gremlin but OP enthusiastic Chisato with the rational Takina that goes along with Chisato's yeah. antics. It's like, what crazy stuff are we doing today? Honestly, I wonder if this is where they got the whole short stories anime but different director's idea. It's brilliant, it's perfect for a show like this. The atmosphere in the stories is also captured very well, just like in the anime. What can I say? Fans truly do know their love the best. Just to give a few insane examples... <clears throat> Chisataki acting as normal high school students, Takina and Sakura stalking Chisato and Huki, Chisato dreaming of Takina being her dog. No, no, like actually like dog dog. Woof woof mummy tai, Shisato being taught how to live like a Southeast Asian, the hardest roast I have ever seen in my fucking life. Whatever the fuck this is, and so, 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 so much. Uni. Half of this is gayness overload, but like not in the super explicit type. It's the geniusly written to be so goddamn sweet because of their unique circumstances type. I like it this way, it's not the I want to fuck you type, but it's the small things that show how deep the Chisataki bond really is. <laughs> Seeing so many more small interactions between them makes me so happy. And speaking of small interactions, there is surprisingly a lot of small lore building. These artists really took some scenes that might not have been expanded enough in the anime anime and well, expand dong. You get to see Mika's feelings after having to kill Shinji, Chisato wondering if she'd hurt Takina in the end, Takina's concerned about Chisato when she thought Chisato was living on a timer, and much, much more. These small scenes really help make the characters multi-dimensional with complex feelings. It's like good fanon that got the thumbs up from publishers. Publishers really said, bruh it's free content, and gave the approval stamp. And like, there's so much of it. There's I think 6 to 7 volumes? Bro, this is two seasons worth of content. And it's good content. Reminder that this got approval too. I'm just saying. Then of course we have... Mochi is schizophrenic as usual. She loses an eye, becomes ripped, gets isekai. Why are you acting surprised? It's Mochi. It's a cute shit show. It feels like the anime and it is marvelous. Unlike Licorice, other than one or two chapters, I don't feel much shipping going on except for this one new Okita chapter. And this. Okay, maybe my Bokina mind is acting up. But for the most part, it's like the anime. Mochi being a social anxiety mess. So, you know when you have an important task the next day, so you try to sleep early, but you can't fall asleep so you play your phone for a bit, but then you're not sleepy anymore and the fact that you can't fall asleep is giving you anxiety. So you try a multitude of methods to try and fall asleep like eating, exercise, binaural beats and nothing is working and before you realize it, it's morning and it's about time for your task and the moment you actually have to leave your room, you start to become sleepy. Fuck you describing my fucking life. Also, you know when the extrovert approaches you, but other than that, it's just Kesokuban doing perfectly normal things until they aren't normal anymore. There are cute moments, wholesome moments, and Bochi being an interdimensional being that will take over the world someday. N no, 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 really, this is a thing. I'm not making this up. We are all actually Bochi. Bochi is the progenitor of mankind. But yeah, I don't have too much to say about the Bochi one. It's classic crazy slice of life. 
you give it a go if you have time. Obviously, there are 10 billion other anthologies of many, many anime, and you'd be dead by the time I go through all of them. So instead, I'd like to introduce you to original anthologies. No, original beauty anthologies. The others exist. What do I mean by original, you ask? Well, you know original dojin? Yeah, yeah, that. There are a lot of these, and I mean a lot. Even in different kinds of subgenres, like very specific subgenres. I'm not saying first night sex is hot, but these are, again, compilations. So don't go expecting any kind of deep stories. Instead, it's just girls being gay in very specific scenarios. I really like these for a quick read, because you can find the exact type of scene that gets your heart beating and neurons firing, and just read them over and over and over again with slight variations. So what I really mean is, be a girls band simp like me. You know how some of you, okay, maybe just me, watch trashy isekai where the main character is OP just for the power trip, that satisfaction when the MC absolutely destroys some enemy or the bully and everyone's like, yeah, he's so cool, and somehow feel that gratification. You know the show is bad and it makes no sense, but you just want that very specific feeling of gratification from that very specific scenario that you love seeing, like say, the bully getting beaten up. Yeah, here, have a whole book of it. What I'm trying to say is, if you're not looking for any long story and just want to see two girls making out in five pages and come here, this is your homeland. Shh, I know, I know, attention span is hard. Until you run into a 20 page traumatizing room like I did. Jesus fucking Christ. One question I see a lot is, so are these canon or not? And the consensus seems to be no. To be fair, they are essentially fan-made work, so I can see why. But for most of the stories, at least for Licorice and Bochi, they just seem to be slice-of-life cut-ins that happen in between certain episodes of the anime, and almost nothing I see seems to directly contradict info in the anime. Besides, it is officially published, so it's like fanfiction approved by the creator? And then you have the Bloom into You one, which even has a chapter by the original mangaka? So, eh? It really is a mysterious line between canon and not canon, to me. I don't know. I'm not trying to make a case for either side here. I can see both sides, so you decide what you want to think. All I can say is, bro, imagine some of this animated. Seeing so many anthologies thrive does bring my face a big smile. Fan work being officially supported is just awesome. Nintendo could never. In case you don't know, copyright law in Japan is very, very strict, to the point where even fan-made stuff like Dojin is in the gray area of being illegal. It's just that companies usually turn a blind eye to it. Apparently so much of a blind eye that we can hold the largest event in Japan based off doujin. And that these doujin can be officially licensed even though they're supposed to be illegal. It feels extremely warm to me because anime is an industry with some of the most passionate people and the community has absolutely thrived over that. From fan subs to fan art, doujin, fan made animations, I know all fandoms have these, but from its very early roots, particularly for anime, I feel like this fan made stuff is what helped anime grow to where it is today, so it does make me very happy to see that the publishers accept and recognize that. Well, at least I feel like they do. It just feels good that these talented creators are getting the recognition they deserve and we can fangirl all over their official work together. So what am I trying to say? The 14 year olds on Tumblr were right. Fanfiction was good all along.